Hello guys and welcome back to this video. It's Leonard here again and in today's video tutorial, I just want to share with you a newly introduced order type in Bybit derivatives that I'm actually using to my advantage. I've already made a step-by-step -step video on how to use that order type. If you have not seen that video yet, check out the channel on my YouTube channel to actually go see that video. But I want to explain to you how you can actually use this to your own advantage. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate this using my mobile app and you can actually do this using, you know, the uh, web version if you want to. Okay, so if I go to my trading view first, all right, we need to go to trading view. Currently, this is my trading view here, okay? And let's say we spotted um, a resistance around this area. I'm currently looking at the Solana um, trade on the one hour time frame, okay? So if we have spotted a resistance around that area, let's say I want to short Solana at this exact area, okay? And then I go ahead and bring in my short position to and decide to short Solana there. Okay, so let me just drag that. Let's say our entry is going to be somewhere around there. So let's assume that we are doing maybe like a one to three risk reward ratio and then we are just risking around 2%. Okay, let me click out. Um, so let me push this to the side and all of that. Let me bring it down. Okay, so let's assume here that I'm risking just 2%, all right? And then I'm ready to make 5% or even more. I can even bring this down, okay? Maybe in my risk reward ratio, I want it to be like a 1 to 4 risk reward ratio, which would have played that, okay? Making 8% to lose 2% and all of that. If I'm doing this, all right? And let's assume that our entry was around this first candle, all right? You would have seen that this would have hit our stop loss, okay? With this candle here, all right? With this swing failure pattern here, and then it would still go in profit. Okay, this is where a lot of persons get it wrong. So this would have worked this way, and it would still come back in profit, and you would have been killing yourself. But with a new buy bid scale order type, you can actually overcome this, right? You can actually overcome this. So if you were actually thinking to enter at this first candle, or even at the second candle or at the third candle, with that scale order type, you would easily overcome this. So what the scale order type will allow you to do is, let's assume that our first entry was here, okay? Our second entry will be somewhere around here. Our third entry will be here, our fourth entry will be here, and then fifth entry will be here, okay? Maybe when this actually shoot up here, it would have hit one, two, three, four of our entry without taking the last one. And that way, when it starts coming back down, it will give you your average price somewhere there and you would have made money in the market, okay? So what I need to do right now is to switch to buy bid and I'll show you how this works. All right, so here I am on buy bid and all I need to do right now is to go ahead and search for sold trade, okay? So now, once I select the token that I want to trade, the next thing you want to do is to make sure by default, your own will be showing limit order here. So if it is limit order, go ahead and click on it and then select the skilled order type so you go ahead and select that and when you select that it will now give you to add a minimum price range and a maximum price range so if we go back to um, trading view if i go back to trading view here so what we are looking at our resistance area is around this 120 dollars let me check if that is correct so let me just um, push this around. Okay, yes, our entry is around, let's say we, we assume that our first entry will be around that 123, okay? So that 123, I want to just imagine that things like this will happen. So I will do from 123 to around 127. That is the range that I'm going to calculate there. So if I go back to buy bid again, I will just do here, yeah, my minimum will be 1, 2, 3, and then my maximum will be, I can even do 130, but let me just do 127. All right, it doesn't give you where to add your entering price and all of that. Then the next thing is the quantity that you want to trade. Now, for this quantity of a thing, you need to use you know your position calculator and all of that. There are websites that can do all of that for you. If you have been following me on YouTube or my Telegram, you'll know how to calculate all of this. Okay, let's say I want to trade to Solana. All right, once I put in the quantity that I want to trade there, remember I'm using a 5x leverage, so this is going to cost me more. Um, I will just go ahead and change the leverage to 10x so that I'll be able to get that right. So push this to 10x. Let's do 10. So click on save and click on OK. All right. So if I'm trading to Solana, the next thing is just to go ahead and click on this where you say add scale orders. All right. 
So I'll go ahead and click on Add Scale Orders. And by default, Bybit will set this to five. You can increase it if you want. If you want, you can just click on it and increase this, but I'm okay with the five, all right? I'm okay with the five. And now what it does is that instead of entering this trade at once, all right, it will now split this into five different positions. So the first position, at one two three the second one one two four one two five one two six to one two seven so at each of this price uh you know these orders will be triggered and at the end of the day it gives you average entering price so if i go ahead and click on confirm here once i click on confirm what i want you to pay attention to is this all right this is what bybit is telling you it's going to cost us 23 dollars to enter this position if we are entering a long trade and then it will cost us 25 dollars to still enter this position if it is going to be a short trade okay then remember our entering price is between 123 to 127 at the end of the day if the five orders are triggered our average entering price will be around that 125 dollars all right, our average price will be around that one twenty-five dollars. So if I now go back to you know trading view, okay. If I go back to trading view, remember this market actually moved up to this area here, right? Which is around one to above one twenty-six and all of that. So this would have triggered all those order. In this case, instead of just putting two percent as my stop loss, I can increase this further. Okay, I can increase this further. So at the end of the day, if this start triggering and picks all my trade, my average entering price will be somewhere around 125. And when this market started dropping, I would have made a lot of money. All right, I would have made a lot of money. Instead of allowing this to go hit your stop loss here, you would have used that opportunity to enter more trades and that would have given you a whole lot of profit instead of stopping you out and then at the end of the day it comes back into your favor and all of that okay so that is how you use the buy bid scale order type go ahead and use that and if you have gained value from this video guys give it a thumbs up okay and if you are new to the channel make sure you subscribe and join us on telegram and take advantage of all of the free signals that we send to you daily and once again guys if you don't have a bible account make sure you use the link in the video description to sign up for an account and i'll see you guys in my next video